Uh, welcome back uh, to the Mind Cracker. This is episode number three on the Mind Crack server. It's a brand new day. I've been doing some farming. Today, we are going to make a diamond pickaxe, and then we're going to go get some obsidian, and then we're going to make an enchanting table, and then we're going to kill a bunch of cows. We're going to make some bookshelves, all that kind of stuff. And maybe we'll even get around to going to the nether. In fact, uh, that's probably a pretty high probability. Let's take half my diamonds. I mined up that whole first iron vein. I figured, eh, who cares? In the greater scheme of things, one extra diamond left there for fortune three is not that big a deal, right? We're going to be uh, getting a bunch of beacons up in the fullness of time and just, we're going to turn this place into a disaster zone. Mount Doom, the disaster zone. We need four obsidian. And while I'm down there, I might get a little bit more to make a portal. I'm not sure. Lapis lazuli. Let's put that away. Um, okay. So one thing I wanted to show you because we're going to get obsidian. I was running around planting reeds all along the coastline so that we could have enough to make all the bookshelves we need. Every time a little bit would grow, I would plop it up and go and plop it down somewhere else. The extras found a little cave and the little cave, there was just like a few pieces of gold at the entrance of the caves. Like, oh, I will just go and grab a little bit of gold. And it turned out uh, I got a stack and a half of gold. And I didn't even pick up a bunch of the iron because I only had the one iron pickaxe at the time. It ran out. So we're going back there because it should lead us right to a lava pool. And there's also there's a bunch more gold in there and a lot more iron. Uh, so that's good. That's a good early resource to have. It is over in this direction. I've got quite a bit of reeds. And uh, after this point, now that I have some basics set up, I will probably just set up a little automatic farm for things like this. Instead of just planting them all over the place. But I was still in the early... Zisto claims this mountain. Yes, Zisto does claim this mountain. Mount Doom. We will be getting to work on very soon. As soon as we get the basics set up where we can start uh, getting a lot of blocks already explored a lot of this area. I left some coal behind because as I previously stated, that's a dead end. As I previously stated, uh, I only had the one iron pickaxe. Okay, so this is how you, uh, with the torches on the right methodology I use, here's a little edit. When there's a dead end, I do that. I've talked about that before in videos, but I don't go caving on video very often. So I'll just reiterate. And besides, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm talking, okay, another one. I'm talking about what I'm doing. That's what these videos are, I guess. Pause, wow, pause is just terrible at this game. I guess this counts for both, but I'll go ahead and do this just so I can visually recognize it. We can get rid of the dead ends to make it easier to navigate these caves. Uh, I think I want to go this way. Okay, here's some, oh, look, look what I'm telling you. Stack and a half of gold, and I have barely scratched the surface of this place uh, I, I wonder if this is unique to this biome or something. I know you have to go to extreme hills to get emeralds. So maybe we're in a biome that has a lot of gold. Maybe I just got lucky. Maybe they turned up the... Uh, and I'll, I'll come back for the coal later. Maybe they turned up the spawn rate overall, and I'm just uh, so used to playing in an old version of Minecraft that it it seems strange. There's a bunch of iron as well. You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to come back and get that later off camera. Uh, I know some people like caving videos. Uh, some people find them boring. I think they're good in moderation here and there. So that's what they'll be for me. Back up, back up, sidestep. Uh, so the one downside of the axe is a bit harder to hit stuff. Look at all this iron. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, here's some guys. Um, Have one of those. Yeah, you thought I was gonna fight you on uh, even terrain, even conditions, you're wrong. Is the other guy still there? And there's something over here. Anyway, I was looking for uh, the lava pool. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna snag this stuff off camera. We spent the whole last episode caving. So I didn't wanna spend all of this episode caving. Let me find that stuff. All right, Houston, we have a problem. We've, yep, we got a skip. My health is not super, okay. We need to back up, run away. Oh God, <laughs> look so close to death. I'm just running in a direction. Need to regen. I don't have that much food actually. Uh, so that's not great. Oh, I left some iron here. Okay, good thing that I retreated here. But let's pay attention to what's going on. He has a sword. 
So if I screw this up, this could actually be bad. If I let him hit me too many times, I've got three pieces of food. Hey, guess what? I've got 53 more gold, though. That's not too bad. Okay, murder this guy. Grab the iron. Is it just me, or is that a lot of gold? I found all that gold, the stack and a half from the beginning of the video. I found all that in like 30 minutes in this cave. It was ridiculous, and I keep finding more. Found a dark part of the cage. There was a, uh, a lava pool I found. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, how many arrows? Enough. Oh, I missed. He, he's, he did a juke, did a juke. Oh, God. Okay. Time it out. Got him. Holy cow. Two pieces of food. Uh, I'm gonna peek my nose back in that cave, but I might have to go back for food. All right, cows, you're cute and everything, but you're noisy, I'm hungry, and I need to make some books out of your skin. So I need to thin the herd just a little bit. If I can hit one, a little bit of lag. Oh yeah, cow tipper. I didn't really, I guess they're technically tipping because they're dying. That's sort of a, a secondary effect though. 17, that'll do. Gotta get out of the pit before the monsters spawn. Okay, good to go. All right, so I give up. I am now in a different cave. We're in the original cave at the bottom of my little starter hut that is uh, attached to the ladder down into the mine shaft. That Mesa cave we started this episode with, I found so much gold, but I could not find that lava pool again. It just goes on and on and on and on. I have, can you believe this? I got eight stacks of gold ore from that place so far, and it's just, there's so much more left there. I. Okay, then I hope I didn't destroy it. This is the way to get obsidian, by the way, without losing it. Got 12 now, I need four for the enchanting table. And then I'm gonna farm up some for our portal that we're gonna make upstairs. I could make a bunch of buckets and transport the lava, but uh, may, why, why not do it this way? I'm gonna do it this way. No real reason, I just decided. And this is, uh, this is, this might seem slow, breaking obsidian, by this way. Try breaking a cobblestone staircase in Minecraft Beta 1.7.3. Try that, and then come try this. This is gonna feel like, uh, you're driving a sports car. This is the sports car of block breaking right here. There we go. Um, yeah, but I got so much gold ore there, it's ridiculous, and there's way more to get. I don't know if it's a snapshot, or if it's a mesa biome. That's just the way mesa biomes are now. I don't know. Um... But I was gonna show you a few little clips, some highlights from my uh, caving expedition. There's just too much. So I gotta show it to you all at once really fast so we don't waste half the video breaking gold. So here you go, rapid fire. Four obsidian, two diamonds, and then some paper. And I think we'll be good to go. Let's make some paper out of the reeds. We're gonna have to go get some more paper, or some more reeds to get more paper for the bookshelves, but we can at least make this much. Grab the leather. There we go. Um, what do we want now? We want the crafting bench. I remember how to do this. Bloop, bloop. Okay, so we, diamonds go there, book goes there. Bam. Enchanter, achievement get. All right, you're going right there. Bookshelves are gonna go there. Oh my God, congrats, thanks. Um, let's see, put this back, put these back, and let's go snag a whole hell of a lot of reeds. 
So that's probably enough reeds. I don't know if I have enough leather. We'll just make books until I can't make any more. Look at all this gold. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is truly ridiculous. I mean, I have some iron as well, but you expect iron to be at least a little bit common. Gold is supposed to be more rare than iron. Last time I checked. Let's go ahead and cook up six stacks of that while we're fiddling around with books. Uh, I think I have a lot of wood too. Okay, that should do. Let's make, you know what? First, let's make a whole bunch of books because uh, those stack. Is this all the leather I have? Yes, this is all the leather, leather I have so far. We're a little bit limited by the size of my wheat farm. I guess I could make that a bit bigger. Um, let's make paper in extreme numbers. Let's make uh, that much, I guess. That will make us 43 books. And we'll see how many bookshelves we can make out of that. I'm going to need a lot of books anyway in the long run to enchant stuff. Then we need, what, we need the wood? Okay. Simple stuff. See how far this stretches. I always, every time I've tried to do the math on this, I always get it wrong. We need like 15. Oops. A little bit too quick there. Okay, that's 14. I'm a librarian, if you didn't know. We need one more. And I think this diagonal one counts. All right, what are we up to? We are up to 28. Okay, we still need more. I think we might just need one more, possibly two more. I've got plenty of paper. I got one book left. Okay, it looks like we have to go slaughter a few animals. Oh, there's creepers around. Um, axe, please. Let me ask you a question. We need to get in here and get out before the creepers pop down in here, because this is, it's going to result in an explosion and a lot of my baby cows dying. And there's no veal in the game, so I, it's not like I can eat them. Can't make books out of their skin. So that's no good. All right, there's all my adult cows. We got nothing but babies left. Oh, there, there's a creeper. Okay, quickly, back through the door. Back through the door. Okay, good. Uh, so, with that, we have eight more books. Fantastical. Boom, boom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn those into bookshelves because I can always break them to get the books back. And we're gonna be making a lot of books in the long run. Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. Um, I guess we will put this here. And just put them down one at a time. I always, I think it's 15 of these you need, so this might be the right amount. 30, okay, we got it. 30, we just need our lapis. Let's put the extra stuff away. Put the shield away, that doesn't go in there. Bookshelves go there. Uh, the shield goes in there. My ax can go here. Let me ask you a question. Put that in there, I think I was cooking up. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of food. Put the wood away, the paper away. Cobblestone away, then we need Mr. Lapis, and we'll need, um, I guess we'll use those as a back of enchant. What else would we want to enchant? I don't have any kind of armor I really want to dump enchants into. I guess we could do level one enchants. That's probably what we'll end up doing. So maybe I want a fresh axe. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, and let's, uh, I don't have any extra books, do I? Yeah, we need some extra books. I have four books. Okay, that'll be enough for now. I just need some alternatives if we don't get a fortune enchant for our pickaxe. And I'm not sure exactly how the rotation stuff works in this version of the game. Like, do we have to, um, event? Oh! <laughs> okay, jackpot, first try. Efficiency unbreaking. F what? Wow, we hit the jackpot first try. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, um, so now we can do what? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now with this? Power, f I'll take that, that's a good one. Respiration. Uh, maybe not until we make our massive Mesa Lake. Protection three. Uh, what, what am I actually gonna find useful? Eventually I'll make diamond armor. What could we enchant that we have? A boat? Can you enchant boat? Can you enchant TNT? That would be cool if you could enchant TNT to make it explode into a bigger radius. Uh, dinner bone, get on that. Shields can enchant shields. Um, I guess we could do us. I'm level 31. We want to stay. 
between level 27 and like level 40 because it gets harder and harder to gain experience the higher your level. Maybe we'll make a diamond shovel with our last, uh, zip zoop With our last diamond? Whoops. Eventually, I will want to harvest a lot of materials very quickly. And so it would be good to have one with efficiency. Um, is it? All right, I already got the enchant I want. Let's roll the dice. Hey, hey! Efficiency three, that's good enough. I can upgrade that to efficiency four with not too much trouble. Uh, that's that's pretty good. We got the level, we're down to level 28 from level 40 or whatever, but we got the thing we wanted, the efficiency pick. All right, so let's say just for a hypothetical situation, a thought exercise, if you will, you happen to have a mountain, just hypothetically, and that that mountain's name is Mount Doom. Um, you kind of, what don't you think? I mean, what, what springs into your brain? What kind of image, right? You, you want that doom to be flowing out from the mountain. Like, it, the, the mountain is the source of the doom. It's not like, uh, like everything in that area is doomy. The mountain is the source of the doom. So you need it to be flowing out. And in Minecraft, um, what's that going to be? That's going to be like a nether portal, right? Pretty obvious. So that means how big you want your nether portal. If it's a mountain... It needs to be pretty big, right? Uh, so here's what I kind of think we're gonna do. We're gonna put the, the portal right here, right where that cave is. Isn't that a perfect location? It's it's nicely centered in the mountain. Um, I think that perf that location is perfect, but it's too small. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a portal there, but we have to sort of uh, expand the amount of space available to us just a little bit. And I'm going to use the uh, the proportions from the portal from 2001. Oh, creepers. Okay, let's back up. Uh, that's not the doom that's going to be coming out of there. Oh, and my axe is there. It's going to break. Let's do this one. Leaves! Don't blow! Damn! All right, well, uh, I'm going to dig out part of that land there, so we'll be able to repair this land here. I mean, we want the doom flowing out of our mountain. We don't want uh, we don't want the landscape getting destroyed, though. It's That's two different things. Doom is... Ah. Crap, this is actually my second one. I did, uh, I covered up the first one. I guess it's gonna happen sooner or later. Let's go kill the other guy. Uh, but we're gonna use the proportion of the, the portal from 2001. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there's a couple guys in here. All right, I don't have my shield, do I? No. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, he's dead. All right, creeper. Uh, we're gonna use the, the portal from 2001. The proportions of that are one squared by two squared by three squared by four squared. Don't die. I mean, if you die, oh, there's a whole cave right there. Um, the proportions of that are one squared by two squared by three squared by four squared. So the depth of the portal is one. The width is four. The height is nine. And the 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 like the fourth dimensional time element is, uh, or whatever, is 16, which you can't see, because we're not fourth dimensional creatures. Anyway, uh, let's just say, so we can see it from a distance to get an idea. Let's say we started here, and I think four by eight isn't going to be tall enough, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This hole here is not big enough, so we definitely need to go bigger than four by nine. So let's try eight by... 18. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Mountain, of, it might even be a little bit too big now that I look at it. No, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. We'll uh, decorate the edges and stuff, that kind of thing. But I want to go to the nether. I want to create a link up tunnel, just something simple back to spawn. And uh, maybe get some quartz. I got blown up by a creeper a little bit earlier. I wasn't really paying attention. He got a little bit close. And, uh, yeah, that was all she wrote. I guess without enchanted armor, that's kind of a big deal. I didn't have my shield on me either, so I couldn't block. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, I want, uh, actually ender pearls just in case, and I got extra obsidian in case we get trapped. We can build ourselves another portal. Here we go. We need to go deeper. Oh. Oh, this is not my portal. Somebody made this. This is the tunnel that goes to the, uh... 
the mesa that I live close to. Okay, so we have we, we already have a direct tunnel. Uh, I did not pay attention to the coordinates. Or maybe they, uh, ooh. Junk City, okay. Junk City is a place I'll talk about in a second. Mesa Biome that way. Junk City that way. Badge is out this way. So this must be spawn, huh? There is a project that uh, we're going to be taking on as a server where there's going to be a city and everybody has a the size of a chunk to build one building in. So all the buildings will kind of be the same size. Kind of an interesting idea. All right, here we go. Let's go take a look, see if anything's different. I kind of doubt that it is. Yeah, okay, <laughs> not much different. The only thing I've noticed that's different is the free armor stand thing, instead of being empty, now has a bowl. That's fantastic. But okay, that's another basic thing. We've checked off our list. We now have a connected tunnel back to the nether, or through the nether, back to spawn. Um, map, map, map. Let, let's go see Chunk City. I don't think there's gonna be anything there just yet. I don't think anybody's started yet. But we can go take a look. And it is on the way back. Uh, we can also take a peek off in this direction, see if there's any other tunnels or signs. And we'll, of course, have to find a uh, fortress and try to get potions in the next couple episodes. One of the basic things we're going to need. But I don't see anything there. All right, so Chunk City. Let's go take a look. It's probably just going to be a... F oh, skeletons. Probably going to be a flat area at this point. Okay, um... All right. I've got, you know what, I got 19 arrows. How about this? I see the portal there right behind him. Okay, I hit the roof. That was intentional. Intimidation tactic, psychological warfare. He didn't even see me coming. See, he was so frightened. Because I hit the roof with my arrow. All right, here we go. So nothing there, and it doesn't go any farther. All right, Chunk City. Big, flat, open space, nothing there, right? Oh, okay, stuff is outlined. Wow, this is already, uh, okay, interesting. Portal chunk, community chests, except that one. I think Nevers has been setting this stuff up. Record player, I suppose you just pick a color and that's your city. Um, there are gonna be certain chunks that have roads on them. So I don't know which is which. Is there a guide somewhere? I guess we'll, I'll just have to ask. I'm not planning on starting this today. Something we'll work on eventually. Sun is going down, so we're going to be back in the nether in just a second. I'm kind of thinking that the open space is a road and all of the colored ones are buildings where you could potentially claim a spot. All right, that's pretty cool. So I relocated the portal and I built a ladder straight down trying to find caves. I didn't find anything until I got all the way down here. I almost died by the way. Oh my God, I was digging down and I ran into one of those random blocks of lava. Wow, I forgot how annoying that was. If I didn't have beef on me, if I had just like uh, baked potatoes or chicken or something like that, I probably would have died because I wouldn't have had enough saturation healing to outlast the lava, burn, tick, whatever. I really forgot how annoying that crap was. Holy cow. But I did find this. That's the new blocks. Let's, uh, I'm trying to, oh, here we go. All right. I wanted to get some quartz so we could get up to level 30 again. Do these guys spawn everywhere now? I could have, that was Magnus Live. Could have sworn they only spawned by the, uh, by the fortresses, but maybe that's different now. I wanna find some quartz, get back up to level 30 and just take a peek around. Eventually we're gonna to have to move that portal and make a, uh, a larger one, but for now we'll just have the bottleneck. Little bottleneck on Evo. Okay, buddy, you, because guess what? Guess what, buddy? You're too tall. You're too tall, sucker. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. All right, he's dead. Hey, who's next? Scalp, oh, okay, this is bad. All right, um. You know what? I got, I got a shield. Yeah, hit me. What you gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you've got enchanted chain mail. I will take it. No, no, don't try to do that. You're too smart. That's the problem. Oh, you're gonna, damn it. 
Uh, okay, the problem is that I want the possibility of enchanted chainmail. So I have to kind of give you a way back up here. Okay, can you handle it? How's your AI gonna do? Can it... Okay, good enough. That is a lot of dudes. You did not drop enchanted... Ch I really don't want to run out there with this little escape back to my ladder. Uh, it doesn't feel like a tactically strong position to be in, so let's do this. Let's just block that off a little bit. And let's build uh, just a bit of a base out of cobblestone. And let's dig in the opposite direction. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I think I've found a little entrance into... Oh, okay. You know what? I think it's time to play a little bit of baseball. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You missed. Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay. Come. Oh, come on. Give me that achievement. Okay, the server's doing pretty good, though, because I'm not having too much trouble returning this. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm gonna hit him eventually. Bam! Return to sender. Suck it. Nailed it, etc. Okay, let's not uh, alert the natives. I think I just dug right around there. I could probably run either way, which was what I wanted. I wanted to have, uh, in case I get uh, cut off, if they flank me, I wanted to be able to run the other direction. So now I've got two directions to go. Let's uh, get all this. Oh, let's go. Oh, no, he was in the lava. Okay, so no, um, no gas tears just yet. Let's check out this. This stuff's going to burn me. I don't think it sets me on fire. No, it just hurts me. Okay, can I... I can indeed break it with a pick and use it as an ornamental block. Yeah, or we could use it to... Uh, oh, I have to test this under carpets. I might be able to tweak some people's noses with it. That would be kind of cool. Uh, anyway, that's about it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your feedback below, your comments, and uh, ways that you think evil might be escaping into the world that might um, somehow happen. I don't know. But we'll see you next time. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Suck it.